What's up guys, Doug here with The Jay Douglas Show. Today we're talking big database management. I know that's a kind of a not sexy term, but every single one of us need to know how to handle what do we do with all of these leads and how do we manage it. Today we're gonna to be talking about database management. So I know that's not necessarily the sexiest, most exciting topic in the world, but if you're one of the people right now, like many of us out there, you're constantly having more leads pile on top, more opportunity, people are doing business with you, you're closing more houses, and just this database, I hope that you have, keeps getting bigger and bigger. So is the conversation about CRMs? No, it's not about CRMs. Is the conversation about, are you making your phone calls? Yes, it's about that, but let's figure out how to organize the big picture. So what, what brings me to this topic is, my, uh, a team that I have right now myself, we're sitting in a situation right now, we have about 30,000 leads. That's 30,000 opportunities that we've built over the years. And we had to take a step back and say, let's get reorganized. What brought this to my attention was a lot of the teams that I'm working with, a lot of our agents, they're all sitting here saying, oh my gosh, this month I got this many leads, and this month I got this many leads, and so on and so on, and it's just changing. Let's understand first why it's changing there's more technology out there to generate more opportunity than there are just good old sign calls like there used to be. Zillow's completely changing, homes.com, realtor.com. Now there's this lead arbitrage phase that's coming right now where it's all about companies that are trying to generate referrals. They're trying to find the buyers and sellers really, really, really early in their process. Like, I mean, maybe they're laying in bed Maybe wife's laying in bed, looking at her phone, Googling if she should buy a house before she's even told her husband laying next to her that she even wants to make a move. They're trying to capture that data and sell it, and we're buying it. So let's figure out how to manage it all. So first piece to this is CRMs. I just hope you have one. Now, there's a lot of them out there from really inexpensive and efficient to very expensive and has all the bells and whistles. I really don't care which one you have. I just want you to pick one. People ask me all the time, what's your favorite one? I'm promoting it without getting paid. It's BoomCount. I'm a big fan of BoomCount. They've helped me tremendously. And even if you're not using BoomCount, I want you to steal some of the concepts that they're gonna use and I'm gonna talk about it today. So it comes down to categories. I've got some notes here. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but I want you to think about a couple things. Making sure that you have all of these leads properly categorized. So some people may say a scale of one to 10. Some people may say like they're ready to do something or they're not ready or they closed or they're, they're trash, meaning like their information's no good, but just getting clarity on your categories. So I wanna talk about my categories and I'm gonna remove the time frames from it because a lot of people have a hard time thinking time frames. Like they're in this category if they're gonna buy between three and six months. They're in this category if they're gonna buy between six and 12 months. No one has the crystal ball. That's really complex in your mind. And what I've seen with a lot of these CRMs that are set up that way, you start throwing leads in there and then you start to not care, which means when it comes back time to follow up, you don't follow up properly. So let me give you some definitions that I like. So whatever your CRM set up, I don't even care if you're using Excel. I want you to think about categ categorizing, categorization, cater I can't think of that word, a fun word to put them in the right bucket, okay? So the first one I like to go with is new. New means you just haven't talked to them. You have not contacted them, you haven't even attempted to co contact them, but have a bucket that just says, this is everybody that's come in that I haven't even attempted. The second bucket, I call it qualify. Now, qualify isn't just about loans. Actually, it has nothing to do with loans in this case. Don't get caught up in thinking pre-qualified money, don't think that. I mean, have you qualified that lead to decide are they a real person? Are they gonna buy today? Are they gonna buy tomorrow? Do they have a home they have to sell? What it, whatever it may be. And, and if you think about all the opportunity you currently have right now, and you don't know where they should go when you're starting over, maybe throw everything in the qualify bucket and start from there. Qualify, you gotta figure out where they're gonna go next, okay? The next category, I'm gonna call hot. That means they are ready to go. I wrote, this, I wrote some notes out here, I wanna read it with to you. Ready to roll now, nothing in the way other than you finding them a home or you closing them on a final decision. This applies to a buyer or a seller. So that means you know they're ready to do something. You either have to find them a house or they said they were really thinking about it. You believe they're gonna do business with you and you just gotta figure out how to get past that last objection. So that's hot. 
that's where the people go that are ready to do something. Next one, I like to call it nurture. Nurture is something has to happen before I can do anything with the lead. But it's on the horizon and if I forget, they will do business without me. I wanna point that out. That's, this is the dangerous category that we say, ah, I don't need to call them right now because they're not ready and then they do business with somebody else. You need to make sure that they're ready to do business. Maybe something has to happen but they're on the horizon and you know that they're coming around, you just don't have complete control of them yet. So I want you to think about that. The next one, watch. Watch is a category that's for more long-term follow-up. I'm gonna say at least quarterly follow-up and they're probably not ready to do anything today. It's one of those, if the perfect house comes along, I'll make a move or when something happens or when we get a job or when the credit score gets fixed or whatever it may be, that's the category that's long-term. And maybe it's also your sphere of influence, all the people you know, your friends, your family, all those kind of people, put them in that bucket and they need to be followed up with at least quarterly. Now, quarterly may sound aggressive to follow up with your friends, but think about all the different ways we can follow up now. It's not just a phone call anymore. It's not just an email, it's a text message, it's a video message, it's Instagram, it's Facebook, it's Snapchat, it's LinkedIn, it's all of these different things. And as long as you're touching base with them and being a part of their life and interacting with them and offering them value, that's where the watch category moves up to maybe your hot one day when they're ready to do something they let you know. So I like to call those, and so does Boom Town, we call those all of our active categories. Those are the people that we really need to stay on top of, okay? So we've got new, qualify, hot, nurture, watch, and yeah, that's it, those five, okay? Now, underneath that, I want you to think about other categories. Pending, you have their house listed. You have them under contract. They have signed a document with you and you're currently doing business with them. Put them there. Close. You've actually closed business with them. That's where they belong. Again, at least quarterly follow-up offer value. And then there's two other categories that I think are pretty important. Archive and trash. Archive is a place where you've actually given up. And I hate to say you gave up, but when you get 30,000 leads, you gotta figure out who do you wanna keep in contact with and who maybe just need to go into a bucket and set them up on like an automated email and hope that they come back. And you've actually accepted that's not for me. Maybe you should even give them to someone else on your team and let a change of face happen. Maybe you're the problem. That's okay, get a referral out of it, pass it on. There's a great company out there um, called Referral Exchange. I used to use them for years and what we did with them was, uh, they're still out there, maybe look them up. It's a referral based program and what they do is they basically let you give them any leads you give up on and if they and then they'll try to call them work the phones and if they create something out of it with another agent you get a referral check from it you can also be on the receiving end of that and pay a referral i was really happy when i used that company for a long time because that was just when i archived something i said i've officially given up on this person and i'm going to give it to referral exchange and referral exchange if they get something out of it okay, I get a referral check, but I'm upset that I didn't treat my database seriously and I realized I missed out on something. So it was a good second check for me. And then the last one's trash. That's where the Mickey Mouses goes, that's where the screw you's goes, that's where the fake phone numbers goes. We all know all of that stuff and purge that out of your system. So when you think categories, yes, I might've talked about one CRM, but Commissions Inc., Boomtown, Contactually, Constant Contact, uh, gosh, there's so many of them out there. They all have some form of categories. What I challenge you to do on is either manipulate the categories if you can, or take the definitions that I just gave you and create new categories to where you can have clarity in your mind of where they go, okay? Now, we've got categories. Here's the piece that makes the whole CRM, database management, um, successful is it's not just about putting them in a bucket what do you do with each one of those buckets this is where it gets really important so this is where I took some notes here this is like pull out your notepad if you don't have this going yet every single lead needs to have an action plan moving forward uh, in Boomtown we call it a to-do it's just a simple like I'm gonna put a note here and say this is what has to happen when I follow up and clarity is key Sometimes I actually tell my future self, when you follow up with this person in one week, this is what you should say. Because in a week I usually forget. So think about those things. Every single lead should have some form of a to-do, okay? An action plan. The second part, every single lead should be set up on some automated form of a drip where you're sending them houses based on something they're interested in. 
and maybe they're not interested in buying a house today, but they probably live in a neighborhood and they're curious what's going on with the values of their neighborhood. So maybe send in that because if you send them, if you're the first person to let them know that something's happening in your neighborhood or maybe in the area they want to move to, you're the one giving them value. They're going to remember you, your name as the realtor that they want to do business with. So keep that in mind. Next one. This one's really good. Have a system to tell you in your CRM, I call it tags, but have a tag system or some form of system that you can label them on these three labels. Have I sent them my contact card, like my V card as they call it, the contact card, where it has all your information in it? And have, do they have a home they have to sell, or not even have to sell, do they have a home that they could sell? Or do they not have a home to sell right now? Those three tags I think are the most important tags because as you continue to grow with technology, we have all these systems that record every single one of our phone calls so we can learn for skill purposes on how to grow. Um, some, we have other phone numbers that like automatically dump information into our, our CRM based on text message conversations. Like I have like five phone numbers that people communicate with me. And if I don't have them like take my contact card and download it, every time I send them a message from a different number, they're like, who is this guy? But if I give them my contact card, it also has my website, my YouTube link. Um, I even almost think hashtags in the iMessage where it has like who you are, realtor, agent, real estate agent, houses. Because six months from now, someone may say, I need to call that agent and they can't remember your name. And they go to their phone and they type in realtor and boom, there you are. So make sure you organize it properly. But I have a tag that says, have I sent them my, my card? And then I have these other two tags because we all know 64% of all buyers have to sell a home before they can make a move. So why don't you organize your database on who has to sell versus who doesn't? Key, because when you need listings, you just go to that list. If you need a paycheck right away, maybe go to the list that doesn't have that big objection in the way. However you want to look at it, I want you to run with it. And then lastly, 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 you have someone that is an accountability partner or your manager, almost if you're with a team, who can actually stay on top of everybody to make sure that you're doing your job properly. We all need that extra push to say, hey, I'm behind on my to-dos, or hey, I'm not following up properly, or hey, someone listen to these calls. And if, you, and if you're curious, like how do you record phone calls? There's so many systems out there, but like there's just like, like, Think about what's going to make you successful, and I've learned this hands down. It's not you by yourself. It's who you surround yourself with that's going to make all the difference in the world, and that's why my team and my brokerage and all the people that I work with help make me a better person because they push me to get to the next level because I have it. Now, this whole, st this whole conversation, some people may say this was basic. Some people may be way advanced and they've got all the drip campaigns and they've got the automated follow-up and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna challenge you to dumb it down and bring it back to basics if you're one of those people. If you're on the other side and you're just getting started, this may sound complicated, but this is basics when it comes to database management. And I want you to just break it down, have clear definitions and figure out who's your accountability partner, get on the same page and crush it. This is the time that you get organized because with the exponential growth of opportunity, I guarantee you we have 30 leads in our database today. Next year, we'll probably have 80,000, and it's gonna grow from there. What are you gonna do then? It's gonna be a little crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really technical video, a little bit more of a basic video, but if you're not doing these things and these principles, it's time to start now. All of this matters more than ever. Thanks for watching. Hey, comment below. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know what maybe technology you wanna use going to the next level. Be glad to talk about that on another video. Have a great day. Hey guys, Doug Edrington here, CEO of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, J. Douglas Properties in Chattanooga, Tennessee. If you were thinking about getting in this business right now, I wanna communicate with you. I wanna get a conversation going. Also, maybe you're already in the business and you're like, man, I'm tired of trying to figure this out on my own. I'm here for you. I want to help. I'm looking for people to grow this business to the next level. And it's going to take people just like you who like this kind of stuff. So do me a favor, click on the link and let me know what you want to talk about. We'll have a conversation connect right away.